welcome back to the channel today got an extra bonus video uh did pretty decent today had a lot of action just could not find a keeper size bass to stay on the hook but let's see how we did though Come here, little bud. Bye, little bud. Got him. Got him. Actually, I thought that was a gill at first. <laughs> There's something right there. At least you're catching him. Technically, it's all year, but like when people say like league, that's usually winter time. But they do leagues all summer, all year. And then that that tournament we do, they start that and like no, they start that tournament. Can you release? They start. Sorry, little one, thought you were big. He ate it like he was, but he was a good one. I thought at first. I almost said Aaron did it again. How how much how he. It when it was in the tree, he it up on that one I gave him a minute to because he took it off the tree, so I'm like, All right, give him a second. And it's fucking perfect. Shot. So, had two choices, had two chances at bass, little high keepers, but it happens. Top water, I don't know what problem is. I don't know if I need to go different colors, smaller, they're just not fully committing right now. Um, a couple of them were just sitting there as well, but. Oh well, we caught a lot, got a lot of action, just could not find a good keeper. Uh, wouldn't matter, uh, biggest bass count being 313, 313 I think. But it reminds me everyone struggled. It was literally them. I think one of our team caught a nice decent one, but um, but no big deal. Let me show you a couple combos because I got a new reel. So up first, once again, high end combo, guys it dinks. Um, but once again, same as last week, DX745 is so good. Such incredible, incredible rod. So light, just so, just so fun. It's just, it's, it's, it's like nothing. Um, but throwing this, uh, three brothers baits, uh, this is their swim jig. Um, the other one's called, I think, a brush jig, but I've really been really liking their jigs. They're a compact size, but still stout. And that's the thing when you go small or compact a lot of times they 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 derate something um but it's got a nice stout weed guard um they rock gamagatsu hooks i forget what model but it's a nice stout gamagatsu and then their uh keeper system is a wedge it literally looks like this i mean you got the two hooks 
Um, they're these little raised tails. They're only plastic so far I found. They don't really stay on real well. But raised tails are soft anyway. But uh, good old black and blue summertime. And then just green pumpkin. It's my go-to summer jig. Um, I'll add some chartreuse to the crawls, blue, um, stuff like that to give it a little more accent. But uh, kind of fine. I trim up my skirts a lot, make them more fine. I don't like a big bulky skirt. Um, but yeah, DX745 and a loose hypermatic 20 pounds sniper. So the last one, which all the dinks were just eating, was the frog. The big thing is my loose Super Duty has officially been retired. Had a brave soldier, three solid years with that reel, but a full year of frogging has finally caught up with it and having some internal issues and loses and carry parts. So Hamilton Bait and Tackle, located in, in technically Fairfield, but it's Hamilton, Ohio. Um, they were running a Father's Day sale, 20% back on a gift card, 20% off, sorry. So I contact the wife, contact the wife, cause she used to like, she likes to buy me gifts for Father's Day cause we have puppuccinos and uh, told her, hey, uh, they have 20% off, so if you haven't bought me a gift yet, here's an idea. And then five minutes later, I got a gift card. So we went down and we picked up the Shimano Tranks 150. Super, super excited. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, I originally went there for a dial with a Tula 150 eight speed, um, but they didn't have an eight. They had every other gear ratio of eight. Um, I didn't wanna go into 200 size because I don't like, I don't wanna make this combo super heavy because once you make a combo heavy, that, that you don't traditionally want to throw that rod very often. Like I don't like throwing swim baits because they're just so heavy. Um, so I want to keep the combo still light, still balanced, and a 150 is so good, especially the Trank series, which is, to me, it's just a more built Corrado. Um, from what I can find and specs wise, it's just higher quality aluminum, higher quality this, higher quality that on the internal wise. The crazy thing is this Trank's 150 because all the upgraded aluminum higher quality is lighter than an SLX 70. This comes in at 6.7 ounces and the SLX comes in at 6.9. My Corrado 200M is 7.6. So I know it weighs not the biggest deal in the world, but I get a technically a more beefy reel. It's a real more real stand to it. Um, and it's lighter than a 70 size reel. So. That's why I went with the Tranks 150 8 speed. It comes with a oversized handle. It's 100 millimeter. They don't say it, but I have a 100 millimeter handle here, so I compared it, and it's literally the same length. So, gotta try it out. Really nice. It's. Uh, I was actually kind of worried if I want me to skip it. It's perfectly fine. It's literally. It's got the internal. It's got the braking system from the Cross series, the S V S or S three S Infinity. Um, it's got six plate, six disc. I mean, it's got six adjustables on the inside. So, um, and the hanger, thank God for hangers. And then it's got the external trim there. And then of course your normal brakes on the side. Um, I just, I set up like every other Shimano around the whole world I've ever set up and it out of the box was casting really, really well. Um, so anyway, so very happy to have the Strengths 150 on my Davis Champion 735. Uh, once again, we'll probably get a 736 next year. And then this will just go into the, uh, jigging line or texas rig rods um this is not the frog i was throwing i'm gonna try something something different this weekend i'm gonna go with a bone color and see if maybe this will stand out a little bit different than a white frog maybe and maybe that will help me with uh getting bites and them committing but uh that's the frog rod that's the new frog reel super excited how that tranks so that's it uh thank you for watching if you like to support the businesses that support me contact information will be in the description but until next time Talk to you later.